As we have seen in the film about how energy is made, electricity is generated by using fossil fuels like coal, oil or gas to heat water. The resulting steam is harnessed under great pressure to turn turbines, which in turn spin a large magnet within a generator to create electricity. But burning fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that helps to cause climate change into the atmosphere. Renewable energy harnesses energy from natural sources so that you don't need to burn any fuel to create the electricity they produce. Both wind and tidal energy generation use the same principle as conventional energy generation. A turbine spins a generator which in turn generates electricity. But the difference is what makes the turbine spin. In the case of a wind turbine, the wind spins the giant turbine blades. This means that turbines tend to be sited in places where there's often a lot of wind. On hilltops or near the coast, for example. Some people don't like the way they look or the noise they make when you get close to them. And they can harm birds that fly too close to the blades. A wind turbine can't produce the same amount of energy each day as it depends how windy it is. And if it's too windy, they have to be turned off to avoid damaging them. But they produce energy without creating carbon dioxide, so they don't contribute to climate change. Tidal energy uses the motion of seawater as the tide comes in and out, as it does twice a day every day, to spin underwater turbines and to generate electricity. Tides can be stronger or weaker at different times of the month, but that the tides will rise and fall twice a day is guaranteed. The trouble is that the environment under the sea is really difficult for machinery to cope with. Salt water is very corrosive, so tidal turbines need a lot of maintenance, but they do produce their electricity without contributing to climate change. Solar panels work in different ways to harness the energy of the sun. We're still learning about how to harvest the sun's energy more efficiently. It has been estimated that enough energy from the sun hits planet Earth in one hour to provide for the entire planet's energy needs for a whole year, if only we could work out how to capture it. Solar heating panels are filled with special glass tubes that are used to heat water for things like baths, showers and washing up within the home, or even for something like an outdoor swimming pool. Even on a cold day, they use the sun's energy to provide some heat to the water, which reduces the amount of energy a boiler needs to use to heat the water to the required temperature. Whilst on a hot day, a solar heating panel can do most of the job of heating the water for use in the home. Photovoltaic cells convert the light energy from the sun into electricity. Each photovoltaic cell is made up of layers of semiconducting material, usually silicon. When light shines on them, electricity is made between the layers. Increasingly, people are fitting photovoltaic cells to their homes, and we're seeing solar farms made up of thousands of photovoltaic cells springing up across the countryside. These solar panels provide clean energy for thousands of homes across the country. As solar panels become cheaper and more efficient, we will see more and more photovoltaic panels being used. It could well be that in the future, all of our homes will get their energy from solar panels fitted on the roof. Other ways of creating energy from nature are also being investigated and developed. For example, wave energy can be harnessed using giant caterpillar generators. There are also solar power stations, which reflect the sun's energy using giant mirrors onto a tank of water. The steam from the water turns a turbine connected to a generator. This is already happening in hot countries like Spain, whilst deserts such as the Sahara have huge potential for this kind of solar power station. So there are lots of renewable energy sources that are being developed to solve the problems of climate change that are caused by burning fossil fuels. In time, we will probably generate most of our energy from renewable sources.
To find out more, please visit our website and download the Conservation Education on Alternative Energies.